G-Wagon is definitely one of the coolest off-roaders out there. Basically, every tuner has made an extreme version of this icon, and each year we see crazier and crazier versions, from engine swaps to extra wheels. But this trend has been for years, going back to the 1980s, when basically all the mad German tuners started building their first crazy toys. And the 280 GE 5.6 Sport by AMG was one of the first ones. Now, the civilian version of the G Wagon came in the late 70s and was far away from a luxurious car, like all the other off road vehicles of the time. The Range Rover was the only one that could be considered a luxurious SUV, while the LM002 of Lamborghini wouldn't come until the mid 80s. So this was quite a strange project for the time, and this says a lot. The main thing that made this car so special, in my opinion, was the engine. Most of the tuners did not care about the power back then. The only thing that mattered was the flashy look. The original G-Wagon, the 460 model, was available with straight 4, straight 5s and straight 6 engines, with the most powerful version being the 280 GE, which had 155 horsepower. So AMG went crazy and replaced it with the 5.6 liter version of the M117 engine, which was the flagship engine of Mercedes back then. The same engine was used for the 126 and the 107 series. Thanks to this, the power was increased to over 300 horsepower, and so the G could reach a top speed of over 200 km per hour. These were crazy numbers for the time. The look of the car also changed a lot, with now having different graphics covering the body, even though some factory G-Wagons had this option. Two were the most distinguished parts of the AMG G-Wagon, the fenders which definitely would influence the design of the future Gs, but at this stage they still looked quite weird. But weirder than the fenders were the headlights, which came straight from the W116. Now, these headlights gave the car quite a unique look, and probably that's the reason why AMG used them, but I don't know if this is a good look. Like the rest of the Mercedes of the 80s, the interior was completely transformed. From the basic military interior of the original G-Wagon, the interior of AMG could go after the top cars of the time. Leather, Recaro seats, TV, phone, fridge, and of course, the best hi-fi stereo system. Now, it's unknown that how many G-Wagons were packed with a 5.6 liter engine, since AMG also offered other engines, including here the 5 liter version of the 117. It's rumored that less than 5 examples were ever built, and the fact that we haven't seen any new pictures of these cars shows how rare they really were. But stranger than the AMG G-Wagon is the G-Wagon designed by legendary designer Luigi Colani. Colani has made a lot of strange cars through his career, but aerodynamics also have played a role in his style. And they also played a role here. G-Wagon is a very boxy car, and the aerodynamics were pretty bad. But Colani tried to change this bus by making the car more, more curvy. Every single panel was changed, the fenders, the bonnet, and the entire rear end, which now featured a rear wing. For whatever reason, Colani also had to use some semi-truck horns. The story is the same with the interior, with the dashboard being the strangest part. This was a one-off vehicle built by a special order for a German customer in 1988. Originally the car went to Colani and after that to AMG, since the owner had owned the car for a long time. New pictures of this particular car served some time ago showing the car in bad conditions. So guys, thank you for watching and see you next time.